Magical booty makes line disappear. Three plus million likes and only a few notice. Oh yeah, and she also said that it was because there was bird poop on the... Yeah, I remember I remember this. I, I covered it on uh, on Inform Overload. Yeah, she, as an excuse, because people caught her, they called her out, and she said that there was bird poo. And like, if you look at the other photos, there's no bird poo from any angle. So she fully just like edited it, which is like, it's fine. But why you gotta lie about it, you know? Hey everybody, welcome back. I know what you're thinking. I'm not wearing my pajamas, but uh, thanks for asking. It's actually just a shirt that looks like a pajama. Pretty much every time I wear it, someone's like, are you wearing your pajamas? No, it's fashion. Look it up. All right, today on my channel, we are doing a much requested video, the fake people of Instagram three. My last one blew up probably because I think people just love these videos. I think they love them because uh, I think every, it, it's interesting. It's interesting to know that people are out here faking their lives on social media. By the way, I got into a little bit of trouble with my last video. So I have to say this time that everything that I'm about to say is my opinion. Uh, I'm not saying that any of these photos are Photoshopped 100% for sure but in my professional opinion, I believe that they are and uh, don't sue me. Oh, and also to anyone who, you know, might show up in this video, they might recognize somebody from this video. I'm not going on Instagram looking for people like this. These are all from the Instagram reality subreddit. So these have all been found by other people, not by me. And uh, let's get into it, shall we? Nah, I just found out LA Instagram girlies are using studio sets that look like private jets for their Instagram pics. It's crazy that anything you're looking at could be fake. The setting, the clothes, the body. I don't know. It just kind of shakes my reality a bit. LOL. Wow. It's a pretty empty private jet though. Like it does kind of look, it's not like a real jet. If you know what I'm, if you know what I mean, but if you crop it properly and it's just the, it's just the chair. That's all that matters really. Anyway, it just makes me wonder, like, I feel like I've seen lots of influencers on private jets lately. Like, I'm kind of wondering if like, it's a real private jet or because I was I said I'm like wow she's on a private jet that's so cool but like now that I'm looking at this I'm like hmm in the age of coronavirus we can't actually travel but we can rent a private jet and pretend that we're traveling oh my the light has decided to change on me that's bright well I got a gym appointment in an hour so y'all are just gonna have to sift through it I'm gonna have to sit through it really like you just get to look at a bright Ah, it's fine. Carry on. Who else catching flights, not feelings this Valentine's Day? Me. Girlfriend, yes. What a lovely travel outfit. I wear that kind of thing to travel. I don't know about you guys. Just especially on a private jet. The fact that the sister edited the caption after they got exposed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll happen. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay, Olympic Four, first in Los Angeles rental photo studio with unique private jet airplane set and artificial window lights. Cool, that's neat. I feel like this is kind of a place where you would like shoot a music video or something. Why wouldn't that be normal for an Instagram set, you know? That's a thing. Lots of influencers are like renting studio spaces and like cool looking living rooms that aren't actually their living room because it matches an aesthetic. Yeah, everything. Ah, it's so bright. Ah, my eyes. I just read about that. Actually, all those pics of luxury cars by a jet are normally rented too. It's wild. Yeah, that, uh, doesn't surprise me. Man, I just found out about a lot of a lot of people who are pretending to be really rich, like people that I know that like reeled me in and pretended to be like super rich. And apparently like they're totally fraud. Like this is a thing, guys. It is a thing to pretend to be super rich. Isn't that weird? Oh, I find that so strange. People also buy empty shopping bags online for 20 to $50 to pretend they've done a shopping spree. Oh, I wanna do that. Get some Chanel bags. Love it. That makes sense though. Put like a shoebox in there why won't you go away you hurt my eyes oh that hurts man are you done thank you oh yeah all right getting into the good stuff now I see I can barely see because I literally just looked at the Sun oh yeah I mean call me crazy all right call me crazy but I don't think all right, so call me crazy, but I don't think that buildings are supposed to bend like that. Like, I'm not an architect, but I don't think that this is uh, feasible. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. There is a heck of a lot of wicker warping in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> wicker doesn't bend that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Whoa. Whoa. Sam, honey. 
It's like you used a little, uh, little Photoshop there, honey. Your eyes don't look real. Let me look, let me zoom into that. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh yeah, yeah, you got beautiful eyes, honey. The whole photo just doesn't look real, does it? Looks like a heck of a lot of smoothing, a heck of a lot of this and of that and of this and of that and this and that. I mean, eh, it is what it is, but I just feel like, isn't that a little bit much? I don't have a problem with Photoshop. Like I genuinely don't. There are times where you need it. There's times where it's necessary, but I just feel like people are going a little bit ham, aren't they? Like a little, Two ham. He looks like a video game character. Mmm, this is excessive. This is a lot. There's a heck of a lot of pixel moving going on. Hmm, very interesting. Yeah, he doesn't look real. It kind of looks like, you know, like a Pixar character, you know? Like, or, or something that would be in like an animated gangsta movie. Am I right, friends? These were all posted within 24 hours by the same influencer, and I suspect not one is her actual face. Whoa. Yeah, it doesn't even look like the same person, does it? I guess the top right and the bottom left. No, the top three, but the bottom right, definitely not. It's so funny when people look so different photo to photo. That's a surefire way to tell if someone uses a lot of Photoshop. Over 10,000 followers and all her photos are like this. Whoa. She just looks just a face, just like a flat pancake face. There's no like shadows or anything, none whatsoever. And like, I mean, I can't tell because there's Photoshop, but based on what I can tell, she's very pretty, very, very pretty. But uh, yeah, her face does not have any texture and there's absolutely no shadows. It's just like a flat face, <laughs> not her real face, whatever the hell this is. I get in a lot of trouble for these videos. This is why I only do them once a month. Oh yeah, got a little bit of warping going on. You see that? The bottom right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's subtle. It's very subtle, but you can tell. All right, so if you, it's this is tough. This is tough. But if you look way up here in his bicep area, yeah, there's a little uh, little there. You know, you see that? See, guys can use Photoshop too, guys. Guys, guys, isn't that like a YouTuber thing? Guys, guys, hey guys, hey guys, guys. Men can use Photoshop too. Although I think it's highly likely that this guy's team, I forget what his name is. He's hes a celebrity, but his team of people, celebrities don't usually run their own Instagram accounts unless it's the Kardashians. But um, yeah, like it happened once with Drake where Drake's team posted like an unphotoshopped photo of his like tummy and then they quickly deleted it and then re-uploaded it with like a much tighter tummy. So yeah, it's not always the celebrity themselves. It's their like, you know, social media team that does the, the Photoshop Makes me so angry to see this Instagram fitness influencer who preaches healthy fitness goals also edit her legs in the after photo to make her look taller. No doubt she worked hard, but hard work doesn't make your legs longer. Hmm. I mean, I don't really see any warping going on here. Uh, okay. Wait, no. It doesn't make your legs longer, but one thing you can do to make your legs look longer is angle the phone differently, and that can make your legs look longer. So I'm not so sure about this one. In my professional opinion, I'm not sure that this is Photoshop because we would see some warping going on and I don't know if I see anything. There's lots of lines in here and as far as I can tell, there's no warping going on. Just my opinion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this lady. I'm not gonna name her, but uh, I'm sure some of you know who she is. Yeah, she's a pop star that um, obviously she's getting older and she doesn't she doesn't look like the photo on the left anymore. I'm not sure if she ever did look like that, perhaps, but it's just, it sucks. Like it's it, it must suck to feel like you have to be young and you have to stay young for the rest of your life. Like what happens when she gets to the age where there's no way that she can fake this? Like there's no way, you know? I don't know, I guess if that makes her happy, then it is what it is, but there will be a time where Photoshop will not make you look any younger. Paparazzi photo versus selfie. Whoa! Damn. Yeah, that does not look like the same person, does it? That's a lot. There's a lot going on in this photo. Holy crap. This, my friends, is what you would call swole. That is one swole guy. Do you even lift? It doesn't look real. It looks like he's in Grand Theft Auto 5, you know? Ooh, again, some alien vibes over here. Mmm, it's a lot. I have nothing to say. She just, she kind of looks like an alien, doesn't she? Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's a lot. 
Oh my, who do you think you're fooling? Isn't it weird how your eye, like your brain just knows that there's something wrong here? Like, actually there was a very astute comment made on my first fake people of Instagram video. So I pinned the comment because it's a very astute comment and very correct. It was by Keely Clevenger and it said, uh, so Photoshop, your face recognizes it because their face no longer has the golden ratio. We recognize the golden ratio every day in so many things without even realizing it. It's nature's form of perfection. When someone gets plastic surgery or messes with their face to this extent, they no longer have that. And our, I think our brain, you meant our brain recognizes that they're not right and they're not as beautiful as they were before. This is very true. Everything in nature grows to a perfect ratio. Everything from the human face to plants, everything grows to the, to the golden ratio. So when you mess with that golden ratio, it's off. It doesn't look right. There's something about it that doesn't look right. Case in point, you know, I would look at this photo and like, I wouldn't, I would recognize that it was photoshopped almost instantly. I can't tell where it's been photoshopped exactly, like her shoulders and her waist, obviously. A little bit of art, art theory lesson for you. Art history, art theory, and a little bit of biology. Paid paparazzi versus not paid paparazzi. Wow, look at that. Like, and her body's already so goals. Like, she already looks so beautiful on the right. What the hell? Look at those abs, girl. Like, damn. She almost looks cross-eyed in the edited photo, no? Ugh, I don't get it. I don't get it. So, there is a thing nowadays because, you know, people have kind of caught on to the idea that celebrities don't look like, you know, they're photoshopped. They're, they're photoshopping themselves so much that celebrities are now being called out by paparazzi for not looking the way they do on Instagram. So what they're doing is they're paying paparazzi to edit their photos and post that version so they still look the way that they do on Instagram or somewhat. And I guess this is an example. I'm not really sure who this celebrity is, but I feel like I recognize her. When you have to photoshop your makeup and it ends up on hair and reminds me of a uh, real monsters. Oh yeah. So if you zoom in, there is a little bit of a uh, wing that kind of ended up stamped on her hair. That'll do it. If you didn't think it was Photoshop before, there's a surefire way to tell. Oh yes. It's nice seeing celebrities have photo shoots with minimal filters that won't blur their skin texture. I saw this and she looks her actual age. Yeah, and she looks incredible in this photo. Like Sarah Paulson is already so beautiful. She looks amazing. Like this looks beautiful to me, doesn't it? Well, to, to me, I don't, to you. Doesn't it Doesn't it look beautiful and normal? And yeah, I don't know. I don't know why we're, we're, we're messing with such a beautiful thing. Anyone else got a waist as wide as their head, but an enormous elbow. Oh damn. Yeah, her waist is about, like her neck doesn't look much thicker than her waist. But yeah, if you look at her arms, her arms are not proportion congruent. <laughs> Whoa, what the <laughs> f is happening? Holy cannoli, that is out of control, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know, man. I just don't get it. Can bend reality wastes it. Yep. Jesus Christ. Well guys, that was the fake people of Instagram three. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. I usually enjoy these, but I only like to do them once in a while because I do sound sassy as hell. Nothing is real. Everything you see on social media is fake. Maybe even this video is fake. I mean, no, it's not, but you get the idea. Subscribe.